Singapore aims to achieve greater growth by focusing on the next generation growth engines, finance, tourism, and medical industry. To achieve this goal, the Singaporean government is constructing a large-scale urban subway to resolve traffic congestion in the city and improve the land use efficiency at the same time. Under the urban subway project, which will expand the existing MRT line, 40 kilometers will be extended by 2016. Along with the Bukit Timah Road, the Stage 2 section of the project, which will cross Singapore from the north to the south, will serve as the central transportation infrastructure of Singapore. Construction Zone 921 is the shortest among the 10 construction zones in Stage 2, but it is a complicated zone which is placed under a 10-lane road and the 18-meter wide Rocher Canal running across it on the surface, while the northeast line of the existing subway intersects its underground. It is a highly advanced construction zone where two stations, subway tunnels, and a box-type tunnel structure must be constructed for building a six-lane underground road. That's why construction zone 921 was expected to be the battleground of technical excellence. The project required design and build execution to carry out engineering and construction simultaneously. As a result, DNC companies without sophisticated technologies were not even granted a chance to bid. In the bidding, Sunyang ENC competed against a consortium consisting of Soleil Fashi of France, Shanghai Tunnel of China, and Gaman of Hong Kong, the leader in subway station engineering, as well as Samsung CNT of Korea, which is already participating in Stage 1 of the DTL construction. After the three-month-long technical evaluation and qualifications review, Sunyang ENC was chosen as the contractor for proposing every subway construction method of NATF, TBM and open cut, as well as relocating the existing canal to maintain seamless traffic flow based on its creative ideas and advanced technologies. With a total budget of $553 million or 700 billion won, it is the single largest overseas subway construction project granted to a Korean ENC company and the single largest project in the history of subway construction in Singapore. Based on the creativity and technology that made it possible to achieve the miracle of 15 centimeters, Sangyong ENC is writing a new history of Singapore's subway construction. Construction Zone 921 of the Urban Subway Construction Stage 2 presents challenging conditions and mixed soil bed structures, including marine clay bed, which is very soft, the Fort Canning folder bed, an old alluvium bed, and the Judong formation, which consists of sedimentary rocks and weathering soil. Constructing a subway in such a soil bed requires delicate soil reinforcement before the commencement of work. First, the soil will be excavated at a depth of 40 to 60 meters, 1.2 meters thick and 6 meters wide, and the excavated area will be filled with a bentonite solution to strengthen the soil bed. Next, reinforced bars will be inserted and a 250 millimeter wide tremie pipe will be lowered. Then concrete will be poured to complete the diaphragm wall. Since the area near Rocher Station has a lot of marine clay due to its proximity to the sea, this region requires additional soil reinforcements using cross walls. The cross walls, which will be built every six meters, are concrete structures built 25 meters underground with one meter wide, an average of nine meters high and up to 18 meters thick, which support the diaphragm wall during excavations. In between the cross walls, board piles, decking piles, and king posts will be installed down to the OA bed, which is up to 60 meters deep to support upper structures. In addition, the deep cement mixing method, which is a method of spraying cement into the weak ground under the canal, and the jet grouting pile method will be used to reinforce the ground. Construction Zone 921 is located in one of Singapore's top three tourist destinations. On top of Construction Zone 921 is the Bukit Timah Road, the major road that runs across Singapore from the north to the south with a heavy traffic congestion in the region. Relocation of the Rocher Canal, which is located in the center of the road, is the essential for preventing the traffic congestion caused by the construction and for better traffic flow in the future. A decking construction, where the Rocher Canal is opened and temporary roads are built on top of it for construction period will be executed. The deck road will be built with 1.7 meters thick steel structures. It is not just a temporary structure. 
It requires the same amount of steel and precise work as building one kilometer long bridge. The site already possesses heavy traffic congestion and building concentration, so that the traffic must be diverged by relocating the existing road in sections in order to carry out the construction. In particular, the curved roads and canals that pass the roadshare station require the construction of multiple traffic diversions. It takes place gradually, which makes the project even more challenging. Once the underground construction is completed, the existing Roadshare Canal will be relocated under the Bukit Tima Road, and the old Roadshare Canal will be replaced by the permanent road. Songyong ENC has divided the area into three zones depending on the soil bed structure and surrounding conditions then implements an optimal tunnel construction method for each zone. The 58-meter zone towards the Little India Station, which is just 3.5 meters below the existing northeast line, will be reinforced using pipe roof and four pooling methods. Once the reinforcements are completed, the NATM method will be used to excavate the tunnel. Then the construction of the 340-meter zone to Roadshore Station will be performed using an open-cut method where the ground is excavated while retaining walls are simultaneously being installed. Lastly, the Roadshare Station and the 293-meter zone that will be connected to the Stage 1 lines have high building concentration and narrow roads. The construction in this zone will be executed using a shield TBM method to carry out the excavation of the soil stabilization at the same time. All construction methods available will be implemented to construct the 1-kilometer subway tunnel. In the meantime, to construct the subway station concurrently with the tunnel construction, the soil within the diaphragm wall must be excavated and support struts must be installed. Then the framework construction must take place. The construction of Rocher Station will require repeated traffic diversions and canal relocations. Various structures for the station, as well as box-type tunnel structures, must be constructed simultaneously. Through this process, the Little India Station, which symbolizes the traditional Indian sari costume, and the Roadshore Station, which features a future-oriented design incorporating the concept of electronic circuitry, will be revealed. Despite the fact that Contract 921 of the Downtown Line Stage 2 is a highly challenging zone, Songyong ENC, as number one in subway construction in Korea, has set an ambitious quality management standard that far exceeds the quality management standards of Land Transportation Authority of Singapore. Furthermore, Songyong ENC was awarded for excellence in safety and environment category of the largest construction safety award in Singapore. Songyong ENC has constructed roads, subways, dams, ports, and airports, and large plants, and numerous public infrastructures around the world. Songyong ENC aims to a greater Korea around the world by growing into a brand name ENC company that creates construction masterpieces in various fields. <laughs>